Hello, gentle friends, and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up Epic Pen to be able to scribble all over your streams and just kind of, you know, add a little bit of value to what your viewers are seeing. Soon you'll be able to create beards for your favorite characters and give them sweet hats as well. So, for the purposes of this tutorial, I am going to assume you've downloaded Epic Pen from epic-pen.com. Probably gotten yourself the basic version rather than the pro version. I'm not going to be covering any of the pro features in this tutorial because I don't own it myself. So right now everything's working, but we are going to go and break a bunch of stuff uh, in order to show you how to build it from the ground up. So let's delete the Epic Pen from my OBS. Uh, but before we get into more OBS nuttiness, let's go and change a few of the settings because they will make what's coming next a little bit easier to do. So the menu is down here. We go into settings. Uh, we will hide the pro tools because we otherwise get a bunch of tools we can't actually use. And then go down to the hotkeys and we've got three settings here which are important for basic usage. Cursor, pencil and clear screen. So cursor is our normal cursor which we'll be coming back to frequently. Pencil, which we can access with Shift 2, lets us draw on the screen. And Shift 4, which we set to clear screen, will then get rid of all of our scribbling. So these are all important things. There are other functions here. I haven't really messed around with them a huge amount, but they are useful to have. Uh, you can set up, of course, any kind of hotkeys you want. Uh, I did set clear screen to Shift 4, just so I don't accidentally activate it when I'm trying to use cursor or pencil. Apart from that, there are, you know, mess around with that as you please, but you don't need to do anything else here. Let's get out of here and let's go back to OBS. So we're going to now set up the Epic Pen from scratch. So let's go and window capture. Let's call it Epic Pen Demo. And immediately it's going to choose Epic Pen for you. Now, confusingly, this isn't actually what you want. You need to change the window to either display one or display two. And for whatever reason, certainly in my case, Epic Pen seems to be confused about which of my displays is Display 1 or Display 2. Uh, because this, my main display is Display 1, but in this case it's listed as Display 2 and vice versa. So if you choose the wrong display here, you'll notice that when you go across to that display, uh, you will get, and try and do some drawing, you will get these kind of cursor lines across. But on our main display, as we see here, and we're trying to do some drawing, nothing. So let's use Shift 4 to get rid of all the stuff. Go back to Epic Pen Demo and change its window to Display 2. So you may not have to worry about this if you've got only one display. So next up, we've got it on the right display now. We can see it's responding to our movements. But when we try and draw, oh no, there's no actual pen coming through. So this is no good. We're going to go back and use Shift 1 or click on the little arrow up here to get back to our normal cursor. Then we're going to go change the capture method to Windows Graphics Capture. And there we go. We can now see the pen. Hurrah! But we cannot see the game. Oh no. So let's go into Epic Pen Demo, right click on it, go to Filters, and then add on either a color key or a chroma key. I think they both functionally serve the same purpose here. So let's choose that one, doesn't matter what you call it. Go to custom color and set this custom color to black. Zones! We can now see both the game and our scribbling. But as we try and put a sweet hat onto our ogre friend, we notice that it's out of position. Oh no! But don't worry, it's pretty easy to fix this. If you right click on Epic Pen Demo and then transform and just fit to screen, then hey, everything's back in the right place. And you can even put a beard onto them as well. Wonderful! Everything is perfect forever. You can, of course, change colors down here and all that kind of nonsense, but again, that's all kind of optional stuff, and I'll leave you to explore that for yourself. Anything which I haven't covered here or if your setup works any differently than mine does, do leave a comment. I'll do my best to see if I can figure it out. All of the stuff I've learned from just messing around myself, but hopefully this video saves you a little bit of time so you don't have to do that messing about and you can just get on with the scribbling. For now though, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you next time.